first one to get all of their doodads in the, in the trough is the winner. You can now move any of your jabber joms touching one of the bleed doo doos Yeah, the pie plates go there. And okay. My slibble dams are there. Once somebody's been slarged, there's a word for this, and it's called Klarfnars, and he would go to space jail. And yeah. that is called hosed. Klarfnar? I don't know which words are made up and which ones are real. None of them are real. Thank <laughs> 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 like, God. <laughs> This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by NordVPN.com slash RogueTP. What does the TP stand for? Threat protection. CJ Johnson, Jason Murphy, we're about to learn the fundamentals of backgammon. This is the exact backgammon kit I played with when I was five years old. Back when I used to know how to play backgammon before I just relearned it last night. And the most impressive part is that it has all of its pieces still. Have you ever played backgammon at all? No, I have no idea. Okay, I might as well not have, but you played I a played, fair bit. I played a lot in the late 70s, early 80s. When I was five. <laughs> <laughs> this was mine! This is why I stopped playing! So you want to learn backgammon. It may seem intimidating at first, but you'll have it down in no time. This minimally multiplayer board game supports two players. Each player has 15 pieces, which are commonly referred to as checkers, less commonly referred to as Klarfnars. You start the game with this specific arrangement of checkers on the board. Each player controls checkers of a particular color. Your objective is to move your checkers to the end of the board and then remove them from play. The first to remove all of their own checkers wins. Usually backgammon boards are hinged in the middle, so they split into two halves, a home board and an outer board. Then each of those boards are designed with a set of six spikes called points, uh, one on the top and one on the bottom edge, both pointing inward toward the center. You can think of the board as being divided into four areas. Each area is named after the side of the board and the player sitting nearest to it. For instance, this area is the home board on the side of the player controlling the white checkers, so it would be referred to as white's home. Players alternate turns. They start each turn by rolling their two dice, moving their checkers, and formally ending their turn by placing the dice back in their cup. A player cannot start their turn until their opponent has ended theirs. If the value of any die is ambiguous, you need to re-roll. Each value rolled is an individual move that you must make during your turn. Each player can think of the points as being labeled 1 through 24 relative to their own side. So point 1 is the point in their home area nearest to the trough on the edge of the board, and point 24 is the opposing point in their opponent's home. The furthest back position is point 24, and your checkers may only move in the direction towards point 1. This means the players are always moving in opposite directions from each other. To start the game, each player rolls a single die. If the dice match, players re-roll until one value is higher. Whoever rolls the higher value goes first and uses both rolled values as their first turn. The value of a die represents how many points you can move a checker. If a point is empty or is occupied by your own checkers, it's safe to move to. If a point is occupied by two or more of your opponent's checkers, it's considered to be blocked and you cannot move to it. However, if your opponent only has one checker on a point, it's called a block, and it is vulnerable. You may move to it, and in the process you will hit your opponent's checker to the center bar. This move sends your opponent into a sort of purgatory until they can resolve the displaced checker. When a player has a checker on the bar, that checker becomes their sole priority. They cannot move any other pieces until the displaced checker is freed and back in play. They achieve this through the roll on their turn. The player must roll the number of a point in their opponent's home area that is valid to move to. If they only roll invalid moves, their turn is forfeit. If they roll a valid move, they must complete the move and then resume normal play. But now, this newly freed checker is as far away from their own home as possible, and they must brave the long adventure back. 
During your turn, you can split the move among separate checkers or you can apply all of your moves to one checker, but each individual move must be valid. So if you roll a 3 and a 5, this cannot be treated as a direct 8. You have to respect each separate move in sequence. If you have no valid moves, you forfeit your turn. Now this part's a little complicated. If you can only make one valid move, it must be the highest possible value that you rolled. And you can't make a move that invalidates your other die if a different move would have allowed both values to be acted upon. So you are always compelled to make as many of your moves as possible, preferring your highest value rolled. Only when a player has all of their checkers returned to their own home area can they start removing checkers. This is a process called bearing off, and I'll explain how that works when we get there. There's a lot of strategy in high level play. If you want to see that, check out some analyses of Grandmaster backgammon games. This is not that. I can't wait to finally know how to kind of play backgammon. I know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the pointy things. I always call them <laughs> dice. Oh. <laughs> Both players roll one die, and then whoever has the higher number gets to move first, mm -hmm. but the moves are a combination of both the dice. So if both of us just roll one. So in this case, you have the higher number and you can now play whatever you want within the rules that we just gave. Oh, gotcha. So like, you can take the first move. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, and I'm going yep. dupe. Okay, so I will, uh, yeah, uh, one, two, three, four. So you can't do that. I, why uh, can't I? Because, because it's occupied. Oh, because it's all full? Yeah, basically think of these okay. as gangs. Like you can jump on mm -hmm. any one soldier by himself, okay. but you can't take on two or more. Two or more. You can only, okay. can only do one. Yeah, and you don't have to move these. You can move any of the other ones. Right, 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 okay. <laughs> you know, one thing I see you can do is you can move this guy two. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. And if you move this guy five, he'll be totally safe mm. because he'll be I'll Is do, that right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, and then like so. Can you do that? You can. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. oh no! You have you have a vizier. If you're an idiot. <laughs> oh no! Okay. All right, CJ. Give, what's the so correct move? Put that two back, because you always want to stay doubled up. So I would go five and two, and then everything is still doubled up, and that eliminates the the numbers that he can go on. Okay. You're in home. Everything's still doubled. So. This one. But if one, you did two, the two three, there, four. that would leave you two yeah. exposed. No, so that's, that's a really good point. And then move the same piece that you just moved, two more. Oh, uh, but I'm full here. No, no, no you're no, not you full. you can stack them. Yeah. Oh! You can or you, can, you actually put them, at, you put them at the back, I think. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm trying to get home this way. So I'm gonna go uh, again I, with the simple strategy of, of don't be exposed. Mm-hmm. I guess I have to be exposed, I think, right? Nope. One. Wait, what? What did he just roll? A s seven, so I could do the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, you're right. It's a different so combination. I could just do, 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 and I end up here. Right, but However, you have to count I, out I have one, to, two, three, one, four, two, make sure three, that those spaces four, are that's free. One, two, three. Right. Okay, wow, I'm so dumb. Okay, go for it, your turn. I'm gonna moderate. Okay, nine. Not as good. So now you're gonna have to put some stuff at risk. And... No, 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 no. Darn it, I do have to put stuff at risk. Oh, you know what I would do? Uh, and, and CJ could tell me if this is a good strategy. If you're gonna put something at risk, put something at risk already near the back. Mm. That's not what I would do. Oh, what? What, what would, would you, you do? do? So your five comes here. Mm -hmm. On the four, I would put it here because statistically, He's going to have to roll a one in order to take your piece. Oh, right. oh and that's an unlikely. Otherwise, if mm -hmm. you split these up, now you've got two exposed and several options to put them in striking distance. Okay. So one, so two, happy three, CJ's here. Four. Okay. Two. All right. Okay. Grab your dice. There you go. Okay. So a five and a, and a six. Oh, I can't do anything with your guy, so I just want to play safe. Six doesn't seem very good for me. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll do... One, two, three, four, five. That seems safe. And then six, I'm just gonna have to. One, two, three, four, five, six. It puts you in the exact same position that, that he just went in. It's not what I would have done with that roll. What would you have done with that roll? What role? I would have done with that roll is gone six and five. Well then that's that's uh, time travel. That's what I did. 
And so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Safe. One, two, three, four, five. Got it, got it, got it. Now you, now you just have one piece exposed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the worst position on the board. Still unlikely for Jason's piece to get taken by yours. Right. But now he has options to cover that piece up or to capture you. So if he gets a five and a one, that would be ideal. I did not get a five no, or a one. But now what you want to see if you can do, well, I'm not going to coach oh. yet. So can I just like, like, that? Nope. Nope. No, the all, everything has to be home before yeah, yeah. Oh, get everyone in the quadrant. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Man. Ah. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Wait. And, oh, how's it? What happens if you go three more? And then, one, two, three. And then you go to space jail. That's right. <laughs> That's okay. good. Okay. So now, if he rolls a one or a two or two ones in worst case scenario, he takes your pieces off from the best position and puts them to the worst. If you roll a... Because you've left two pieces vulnerable, because now all he has to do is roll. If he gets a one, oh. that's gone. If he gets a two, that one's gone. Okay, okay. To get out of mm -hmm. Got it. space jail. So then maybe that's not a good idea. Okay. So I would have covered this piece with my four, and then I would have left this, I would have gone one, two, three, and left this piece exposed because that's a better, the, that's a better. Mathematically, mm -hmm. you can't count a two, you can't count a five, and you would have to make a odd combination in order to get here that didn't include a two or a five. Mm -hmm. uh, so this piece would be safe. You'd have one exposed here, but it would be exposed only to one piece and with a bunch of numbers taken off of the board. Gotcha. You should do that. Uh, yeah. So one, one two, two, three, three four. Oh, no, yep, oh, three. Three there. Oh, three. Right, 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 right. Okay. And then the fourth. And then the, nope. the four you're going to use to secure to this guy. Up this one yeah. Make him safe. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, five. I could at least move this one, two, three. I guess, I guess this guy's still in trouble, but at least I can move this guy to a safe spot. Is that good? It's not, not terrible. what he would have done. It's not terrible. It's not what, <laughs> what would you have done? <laughs> I, I would have left him there because if he's, they he's take still him, the worst. Yeah. yeah uh, and I would have gone one, two, three, one, two, and put these in position there. Everything's safe here. You have one piece exposed. One, two, three, one, two is what I choose to do. You know, I don't have the greatest strategy in the world. But <laughs> that's no, I'm you have strategy though. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, you rolled a one. I know one thing I would do. Yeah, right. Yep. Doop. Yeah. And then send me to jail. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, no, because no. we just learned that that leaves you too exposed, and all I have to do is roll a one or a two. Or two. Yeah, right. sorry. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, we just... We yeah. can be taught. Uh, okay. So, let's see. Oh, you have an exposed piece, so I would yeah, say a priority yeah, yeah. should be to get that guy... Oh, wait, you're going, you're going the wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, wait, no, no, you're going, going the right, right way. way. Never mind, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four... I'm still exposed, but I'm in. I'm home. I feel like none of this is what CJ would do. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so far, exactly what I would do. Okay, all right. And okay. then, and then uh, there you go. That's yeah. exactly what I would have done. Uh, right there. Okay. All right, all right, right there. Mind take now. It, take, it, take, take your dice. All right, four and a one. Set one, two, three, four, one. Yep, that's what I would do. Is that what you would do, CJ? It is what I would hey! do. Hey. Two and a three. <laughs> two, what? one, two, three. Is that something you would do, CJ? I would have taken a bit more of a risk, mm. and I would have gone one, two, and then one, two, three. I would have left two pieces open here, but that is going to be statistically very difficult. Oh, yeah. to oh get I have to no way to because these guys here. can't attack that Playing way. Defensive. Yeah, you would have to get like a three and then a one, two, three, four, five, or six. Right. So you'd have to have a weird combination to get those. But okay, I got oh doubles, doubles. What's uh, uh, doubles? You, what, do you, what do you get to do? <laughs> it's got to be something, right? <laughs> it is something, isn't it? He's like, I know there's something special. <laughs> I'm <laughs> special. <laughs> what is it? How am I special? <laughs> Rolling double. Rolling doubles means you get double the moves. Brian just rolled two fives, which means he now has four moves, five points each, that he is obligated to make this turn. 
So I could take all five of these and move them, but I suspect that's not what CJ would do. Well, CJ, oh. if I was being a hard ass, yeah. I would say it's not your turn yet because he hasn't picked up his dice. Oh, good point. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. But all right. Okay. it's a friendly game. Okay, one, two, three, four. Can't do that. So this guy can't do anything no matter what. Um, so uh, one, two, three, four, five. So basically what I could do is I could take uh, these three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then I could take these three and go one, two, three, four, five. And then four, how do you five. get six fives? Yeah. <laughs> you have, you oh, have four. Oh, I could take the, oh, do, oh. <laughs> what do we got? Do you have, are you palming so, pucks? So you What's still happening? have two I just fives. can't count. You still have two fives left that you can move. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, that's not good at all. Because so, I moved them back. Yeah. So these, these were here. Oh, oh, yeah. Then I go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually better than what I had in my mind. Oh, doing, wonderful. Because I would have left a piece uh, exposed and wouldn't have needed to be. Darn it. Oh, okay. Uh, four and, oh, okay. This is what I'll do. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. Ooh. CJ, would you approve? No. Doesn't matter. Shut up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm All right. <laughs> that is a good play now. It's a good safe play. A uh, six and a one gets you off here. Mm -hmm. uh, a two and a five. In other words, seven. Combinations you know, the most of statistically sevens. likely roll that I <laughs> can do. <laughs> so I would have left things safe here, and I would have split mm. these up. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see if we'll but, see if I get lucky. But this is also a completely reasonable move too. Okay. <gasps> Double fives! What? Okay, all right. Uh, wait, wait, this guy's still screwed, but these guys, one, two, three, four, five, could come here, and then we, I could do the same thing I did last time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five here, and then one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dupe for the one. Oh, okay, yeah. And then one, two, three. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I suspect that these guys are now totally in the clear. Well, unless I get out of space jail. Um, now imagine you were going to get hypothermia. You were playing it safe with this piece. Is there another piece you might want to make safe? Right there. Is there a way to make that one safe? Oh yeah. And make it very unlikely where oh, two thirds of a, of a chance that he won't get. One, two, three. That's too many. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. One, two, three, four. There you go. There you go. And now he has to roll a three or a four to get out. Otherwise, he's stuck up there. And, and then if you can make it where Those are they're full. all taken, then it's just your game until you expose one. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's the guy standing behind me at the urinal. Like. <laughs> okay, so I can't move because I can't go one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can't go one. So it's your turn again. All right. That was, man. Five. Five. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean, at this point, you're I, going, I, I, oh, I, I, I would I'm, just. I'm clear, yeah. Well, so well, I mean, this guy clear may eventually get Ish. out of jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd have to have a combination, a three and a four plus whatever the extra one was that came out here. Well, and you could at least move this guy with a with a two or oh, a yeah. three. I'm gonna go, so like there maybe? And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's two, and then, and then I would. Uh, Should I expose one of these guys? Well, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not, not, I mean, one, I don't two, think three. this guy's gonna yeah. jump out there. Okay. Okay, eight. Three, three and a five. You know what? I, I, I always want to sum them, but I shouldn't. I should always nope. be thinking that's a three and a five, yeah, not an eight. So I can get out one, two, three, and then I'm going to go five. One, two, three, four, five, which is not great because if he gets a two, then I'm screwed again, but it at least gets me out of, 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 of jail. more numbers. Yep. Okay. That was exactly the right move. Now. He can take you again. Oh no, he can! <laughs> Son of a gun! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, how? One, this two, piece. Oh, oh, five. Yeah. <laughs> God, okay. All yeah. right, so I'm so back in that's space the five, jail. Right? Yep. And then. That's oh, no, no, no. Was. I was thinking it was a two. It was a three. So, yeah. And then one, two, 
three. Keep him safe there. Okay. Oh, good job. Good job. Oh, man. Four and a, uh, a six. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four. So I'm out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six! Oh. Space jail for you. Okay. So I go back to the beginning. Go yeah. back to the beginning Ooh. with that one. All right. Six. Oh, a one and a six. So that's great. So you get, or one and a five. There you go. And get him out. And then one, yeah. two, three, four, five. Okay, so, so those but, are but all... you could do, you can arrange house over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Wait, uh, uh, you have your five to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. One, There's two, only one possible move. Oh, is there? Yeah. What, like, just yep. here to here? Yep. Uh, okay, a two and a one. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to do two, keep this guy safe. And one, I'll just slightly advance. Would you do that, CJ? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what would you he do? Was, they were already safe there, yep. so I would just advance this one so that one, on two, your three. next roll, you could maybe get him safe. Oh, that's right, because he, he's not going to be able to reach them anyway, or uh, unlikely to. He's unlikely to reach him right now. Two and a one. Would it be the craziest thing in the world to, since these guys would remain safe, to just sort of have him at least run out and, and just try to run free? That would be, that would be one strategy. And, <laughs> it, and, and it wouldn't be a wrong strategy. It's, you know, there's safer ways and there's aggressive ways, and sometimes I would play it either way. So the two options that I see is to go one and then one, two, and then mm -hmm. you've left a guy exposed here but it's in the home row, and there's a chance that he's gonna leave somebody exposed. Mm -hmm. The other option is, is that you're gonna go one, and then one, two. You're gonna leave your six exposed, mm -hmm. but there's no chance that anybody can take it until you take one of his pieces, mm -hmm. and you've blocked off options for him to mm -hmm. come in. If you leave the six open as the only option for him to roll, if you take one of his guys, once he's landed there, then he it, can't. That would be a huge setback for you to lose somebody from your home quadrant. Yeah. Right, but if, but if this is open, so imagine you've gotten everybody home except for one piece, you take his piece and this is open. Now, if he lands there, he, there's no place else he can go back to to take one of your pieces. Mm. So there's, it's not putting anybody in striking distance if this space ends up open. I got So you. I would cover another block there, then you, have, mm. you still have four and also, when it comes time to taking pieces off the board, you're more in a position to like so to take pieces off the board. Gotcha. Makes sense. Double five. What is this? <laughs> well, this is good for you. Oh no! This because I'm going to leave a bunch of things exposed that you're going to be able to gobble up. I have four fives I have to spend, so I can move one, two, three, four, five, and take these three over here. Mm -hmm. But then this guy has to move because I can't do anything else in my quadrant. This guy will have to go one, two, three, four, five, which means if you roll a single six, I'm gonna lose all the way back to the beginning, which will suck. So what if I did one, two, three, four, five? Nothing else I can do. I have to do that. That's the only move That's I can do. That's your only move. Because you have to use all of your plays, right? Yep. Okay, so these guys go here. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then this goes one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you didn't catch that, everybody was distracted on set and Brian accidentally miscounted his move. The three checker stack should have moved to the three point instead of the two point. I did some rough projections and determined that this probably didn't materially affect the outcome of the game, which you'll see for yourself after this ad. All right, gather round, gather round, gang. Look, 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 there's two of you out there. I mean. You know what? We'll be in trouble if there's only two of us. There's two types of you guys out there. There are those of you who already know exactly what you're doing on the internet. You already have NordVPN. You know that it's important to lock the door when you're in the bathroom. But you got all of those loved ones who don't really know what they're up to, or you have an unsecured computer that one of your kids can get a hold of. That is when you need Nord's threat protection. You gotta have safety rails because they're gonna go to some crazy website. Next thing you know, I don't know, they're gonna buy Roblox dollars or whatever that crap is. Next thing you know, you're covered in malware and it's just gooping up your entire internet. You don't want that. Threat protection keeps a computer safe from malware, viruses, malicious websites, all the stuff that anyone who is not you 
or maybe you might accidentally run into. It'll stop the malware before it even gets onto your computer. Every download gets scanned. If you have NordVPN, just flip that switch. You already have it. If you have a computer that needs it, go to nordvpn.com slash roguetp and don't worry, there's a 30 day money back guarantee free trial period. Even if you have no VPN, threat protection has your back. It is gonna be so hard to not talk about the TP aspect. TP. Rogue, rogue TP. TP. I think we have, we made a hobo stove out of threat protection. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Okay, so now you want to cheer for a six, mm -hmm. and then you want to cheer for a six, and then something smaller than a six, but not a three. Gotcha. Hey! Oh my God! What did you? You cast a spell, <laughs> you demon wizard! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and six. space jail. Off to jail. Straight to jail. And then you you spend your one doing what? Uh, you have one piece at risk. Make him not at risk anymore. There you go. There we go. Straight to jail. Okay. Yeah, once you play a lot, you see the patterns, you know exactly how mm -hmm. far things are. And... Three and a six. Yes. Oh, wow. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. There Boom. Go. And so now you want to hope for just, getting just run. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, double, you, you got doubles. I got doubles. So you had two ones naturally, but because they're doubles, you double mm -hmm. the number of moves. Mm -hmm. So you can move him to here, which is not gonna better your position yeah. at all. Or you can move these two pieces, one and then one. And now the oh, only, and if you oh. take one of his spaces, because mm -hmm. you've got pieces way back there, mm -hmm. you're gonna need to get aggressive, take one of his pieces and keep him from oh, being Oh my able goodness, to move. if I go to space jail, that's gonna be very bad for me. It's gonna take a six to get me out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Ooh, I don't like yeah. that. Uh, I have to do the one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm still yeah, in striking distance. That's really your only move. Five, six, and then, uh, and yeah, no, there, there's no way I would do two with any of these. So one, two. Okay, no so ones, no ones, no one. ones. Ah, eleven. <laughs> that's not bad. Five nope. and six. Oh wait, okay. wait. Uh, Think about these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait, no, you don't want to be exposed. Two, three, four, mm, yeah, can't, can't do five, yeah. and, and then, yeah, six will double me up here, right? Yeah, but no? but there, look at all the pieces that can take him now. Oh, that can take this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, You've yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. everything on the board can take him. Okay, well, I, could, I should move him. Get him to safety. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Put him there. there, okay. Double sixes! What? I don't know if that's good or bad right now. It's good. I think I just won the game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I don't know if I've won the game. That's one six. So this is where it would get oh, interesting. Oh my gosh. Because, okay, because now all mine are in the same quadrant. And because I have I have three more sixes to go, that means I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. and bank one, Okay. two, three, and now all my pieces are protected and safe, and now I'm starting to bank my space points. Bearing off. We have just entered the bearing off phase. While in the bearing off phase, there are two ways to move your checkers. You can bear off a checker if you roll exactly the value of the point it's on, or you can continue to move checkers towards the one point. If you roll the value of an empty point, you must use it to move a checker from a higher point if possible. And lastly, there's a merciful rule adjustment in this phase to keep things moving. This is the only time where you can move a checker in a way that doesn't precisely match your roll. If you roll higher than any of the points occupied by your checkers, you can bear off a checker, but only in the point furthest back. If a checker is hit to the center bar at this time, that player must halt bearing off until the checker is freed and fully returned home. Okay, one and a four. Mm. Mm. Ugh. Mm. I, would, I would just... Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Yeah. I think you're hoping for doubles. Four, and then... One. Yeah, I guess. So, at this point in time, now he's taking things off. You're going to have to get... Uh, aggressive. aggressive to get it out here. So yeah. I would have gone four. I see. And then move that one I gotcha. piece here. Uh, because give them a chance to take you and maybe 
because there's an odd number here. Mm -hmm. And so if he rolled, if he rolled a five and a three, he's going to have to move these. Oh, that's to right. There mm -hmm. And, and leave, leave one, one exposed. exposed. So, oh. the, okay. Uh, so well, yeah. you have to put so it back there. Because yeah. ideally, yeah. If, if you get one of his pieces off the board now, it's going to be hard for him to get back on. Be a good roadblock. Be a good roadblock yeah. to help you. Three and a one. Oh boy. So uh, now uh, I can move. Ooh. Oh, I should go one, one, two, three. Is that something CJ yeah. would do? I would do. <laughs> Six and a one. one. Two, three, four, five. Oh. Six. Yep. And I would, I would and keep just, running. Yep, just move yeah, back from one another one. Yeah. Okay, five and a six. So, oh, so I'm gonna use my five, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna send you to space jail. Mm -hmm. But I'm leaving myself exposed. Uh, and then I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's so risky. Should I have even done that, CJ? You, you have to. I have, you have okay. no choice. Okay, okay. And this is actually what we're hoping for. Now, if you get a one, uh, no that opens things up a lot. And I'm really if screwed. If you get four, five, six, then you just got to start running like hell mm -hmm. and hope for big numbers. Dang it. Boom. Oh, man. Space jail. Space jail. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. It's you. All right, come on. Sixes, double sixes, lots of sixes. Hey! Oh. One, two, three, mm. four, five, six. One, oh, should I run? Yeah, I have yeah. to. Two, three, four. Yeah, you keep. Now, you had everybody in your your home quadrant. Yeah, but I but can't But now you have somebody not there anymore, so you can't take any more off until he's back. So that's back. the only guy who can <laughs> ever move. Right. <laughs> so now we're hoping <laughs> no, 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 get, no, no, no. coming to get you. And you got good odds. Double threes. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, damn. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. You have two mm -hmm. more threes. Mm -hmm. What happens with this guy? Yeah, the one, two, three, and then one, two, Oh wait, no. That, oh, that wasn't nearly as good as I thought. Yeah, that yeah. was bad. Put so, them all back. Yeah. So yeah, this was this was a rough roll for mm -hmm, you to get right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. Just send one, one to two, safety. Three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah. Three. Yep. Okay. Okay. That seems right. Oh man, it's down to the wire. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I have to, I have to, Ooh, I have to do true. that. Ooh. Oh, no ones, no ones, no ones. Come on, come on, give me a one, give me a one. Ah! All right, now haul ass and hope for doubles. Yeah, <laughs> one, two, three, and one, two. Okay, okay. great, okay, so now, and once, so once now we're both in our quadrants, we can't affect each other anymore, right? Yep, so okay, now it's so just a race. Nice. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yep, when you count in, you have to go like, you know, if you're here and you have a six, you have to go one, two, three. <laughs> you have to mumble. <laughs> you have to mumble. It's, 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 it's mumbler's law. <laughs> Good to know. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So now, now it, it may is... not look like it, but it really is anyone's game. Yeah. With me, I have a slight Just advantage. Two, mm -hmm. two good doubles on this side. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, one of them, yeah, five, see. one. And he could only move one piece off the board. So mm -hmm. we want high numbers. Uh, That's all right, you get two pieces off the board. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can take the four and the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. What? Oh. Double sixes! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to take these four. <laughs> I'll take all four of these and, and throw them in. <laughs> I did Man. the mumble. <laughs> yeah, good we didn't have to invoke the mumbler's law. <laughs> Seven. All right, so. No, it's a five and a two. Oh, yeah. sorry, five one, and a two. two. Three, four, five, and then one, two. Okay. Oh, uh, yep, yeah. one, two, okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, right? One, so. five. Yeah. No, never mind. <laughs> and this is the point where this comes in is where oh. you, it's very unlikely that you can win so you mm -hmm. just lay this here and tell brian what he can do with it <laughs> honestly i'd rather it be a d4 
It was a valiant effort. That, that was, was, a, that was yeah. a great game. For for a game to be shown for all of the possible scenarios. Double six eight, that yes. was <laughs> that was fantastic. Rigged! Uh, Oh my God, uh, CJ Johnson, uh, uh, another plug, Tiny Anvil. Uh, TinyAnvilLeather.com and on all the social medias. Right on. CJ, that, you made this for us. Thank you so much, CJ. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. Any questions so far? Doodads and Trough. troughs. Yep. I'm just trying to get the lingo. Yeah, just, I'm, just, just trying I'm out to, to make lingo. everyone in backgammon very <laughs> angry right now. <laughs> so, you don't want to piss off the international backgammon league, dude. <laughs> when I go to the underground backgammon club, <laughs> and I say Klothnar, I'm going to get stabbed. <laughs> yeah.